I know the stresses that drive, I know the pressures inside, I know the questions that lie nestled in the depths of your mind. My art reflects in my rhymes, I'll architect and design kinetic energy, and then you'll be connected to mine. See through my retina line, yes, it will set you at ease and let you see that you can be what you've expected to be. You gotta reach for your goals, we all have each of our own. Dig down so deep in your soul, you got your sleeve in your throat. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. You hearing that? That's the delivery guy. Good guy, nice guy, chill guy, but that's unchill. He had like four different tailpipes coming out of the back of his. Mitsubishi rice burner. <sighs> Come on guys. I like, I like, I like you. You're a good guy, but also don't have that many tailpipes don't have that much sound for everybody to have to hear especially when you're a delivery guy like you're just driving you're just always driving you know what i mean so maybe don't do that but hey to each their own fuck it this is life we all get to live our own so fuck it fuck me right sounds good okay <laughs> the intro <laughs> my little my little spit i probably wrote that like nine years ago uh with these guys that I went to school with and then he had a studio and we made a whole album. I wrote mostly all the songs on the album, but we collaborated uh, with our voices and our instrumentations and the beats and things. Um, it was the most <laughs> Creed ass Nickelback, Nickelback esque song that I've ever written, but I had to re-listen to it to like amp me up for the it is very applicable to the situation in life that i feel like i'm going through and that's like prepare for the battle it's gonna get it's gonna get rough maybe i'll put it at the end of this video and uh you can listen to it it's a very i like the instrumental it's a well-produced song but uh the vocal mixing which me and my guy didn't see eye to eye on a lot i it needed work but outside of that i think it's, it's pretty solid but it's you know it's uh, it's it's dated sounding. Anyways, this video is shouts to my boy Costa. He came through one time with a uh, subscriber sponsored request for Italian poutine, and then he randomly hit me with a little something in the uh, in the PayPal saying, "Hey man, just enjoy your work. Um, get anything you feel like eating, but maybe talk about." holiday like summer holiday or summer vacation and then I, I that's how i know he's uk or well not uk but europe i think he's italian actually but european because it's all about holiday over there now in canada we don't do holiday we do vacation that said holiday is a much more endearing term so the sack is procured i've just been craving mcdonald's i needed it but there's a new burger here this uh western burger so I'm gonna pop it out and then I'm gonna talk about a bunch of shit while we eat. Big Mac, extra lettuce, of course. You got the Western burger with extra barbecue, extra crispy onions, extra pickles, and that's, we're really extra today. A little medium fry guy, why not? And then three sweet and sourdies. And they straight up changed they changed the color of this to a more booger green, like your guy's wearing booger green. <laughs> That's a definitely a different change. Flight path, we've been down this road last summer before. Flight path. So what else is a different change is McDonald's the other day, I saw, I was scrolling the app and they had waffle fries or crisp cut fries, whatever you want to call them. They're the ones that look like hashtags. Uh, I was like, whoa, McDonald's has those. And then I went today and they're sold out. So they're a hot ticket item and I'm pissed that I don't have them here with this meal. So please excuse me for that, but it is what it is. And one last trick is that fuck <laughs> struggling to dip my fries in like these micro penis cups. Like I just don't, they're really annoying. I hate these micro penis cups they make you become like this like almost like the guy off scary movie take my strong hand child like he's got that like deformity 
That's what I feel like when I'm trying to dip fries into a micro penis cup. So I'm not here for it. I don't like it. It's not for me. Crack a fresh top on the full sugar Coca Cola. All right, first things first. This is what we really came for today. Was this uh, barbecue western thing? I personally thought it was gonna oh drop pickles into my sweet and sour. Here's the intrigue of this. Is the barbecue sauce the same as the barbecue sauce that you get for the nuggets? Also, I thought there was gonna be jalapenos on this for some reason, but there's not. So let's give her a try. Mm, it is not at all the same. barbecue sauce as uh, as you get with the nuggets it's more like a it's like sweet and really buttery or something like that. reminds me of um Um, what the fuck is that brand? S Stampede Bold Barbecue, something like that. Can't remember the brand. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. It's decent. Is it revolutionary? Not in the slightest. Should it have pickled jalapenos? Yes. Should have swapped the, pi the pickles for jalapenos. The crispy onions? I swear the ones I get from the dollar store are better. That's okay though. It'll do. All right, I wish this was a waffle fry or a crisp cut fry. I know that in this position that I'm in, I look all hunched and thicker than a snicker. I'm just at a point in my life where I just don't care. <laughs> Also, really random, <laughs> but I just checked in on Nikocado Nick Avocado the other day for the first time in a long time, and that dude, he's almost 400 pounds now. There's something else, I'll tell you what. Insane to me. I think he's clinically insane. Has to be. All right, so summer holiday. Much better term than vacation, first off. Sounds very pleasant and inviting. Vacation seems like I'm desperate to have this much time off work and I know that I'm gonna have to go back to work. Holiday doesn't sound like that. That being said, um, as a Canadian, it's not really in our tradition as per where we live to go on holiday in the summer or vacation is to spit in the face of like the three or two and a half months of nice weather that we get in our climate so we don't take <laughs> those times 
um, in the summer. In the winter, however, yes, people get the fuck out of Dodge. When it's just severe brutality. Anybody with winter as a season will know that. We don't really. Summer's made for the, for the for the cottage, the cab, and the lake. That's when we go to local places around us. If you're privileged enough, which I am, to have had it in your family, you get to go out to the lake, the cottage. You get to go suntan, be on the boat, fish. Drink your face off, have campfires, roast smoky sausages, weenies, uh, tell stories, uh, hunt for <laughs> toads in the night, uh, crayfish, cr crawdaddies, go hunting for crawdaddies at night, just shit like that. Bike rides and waterfalls and rivers and things like that. That's that's my vacation or summer like getaway is to go do that on days where it's beautiful drive out it's like 45 minutes to an hour go spend a couple days go live real life and then back to you know you just do that all summer basically all right we all know that going to mcdonald's isn't going to mcdonald's without having a a big mac I feel it required, I feel it necessary. Let's see how today is uh, treating us. Mm -hmm. She's saucy, she's sliding. Uh oh. Imperfect patty placement is making for architectural disasters. As you may see, we have an off-kilter patty. But yeah, as far as traveling goes, I've had minimal privilege in that regard. I'm not a huge traveler. Um, the thing about like, if you're over in the, in the European side of the world, like you can kind of hop around to cooler places real quick. Whereas in Canada, it's like, you don't want to go anywhere in Canada. <laughs> and the flight to get somewhere is still long because we have provinces which are massive. Um, you probably don't want to go to America really because you've probably, it's, I don't know, it's just like whatever. If I'm going to travel, I might as well go somewhere like way cooler. And so traveling from Canada is like a very expensive, arduous, really planned out, like it's an undertaking. It's like you really got to really got to commit kind of thing. It's, it's not it's not like a quick just jump over here real quick to Croatia and then come back to, you know. Which in Europe, it's more like that. So that said, I really do wish I lived in a place where I could have quick mini trips to cool places. 
It's just not like that over here, unfortunately. Like in in Canada, we have like a few cool spots. It's either Vancouver, Toronto, or maybe something on the East Coast. There's some kind of cool spots on the East Coast, but it's not like uh, some wild destination that's going to be amazing. It's you're going to see the coast and you're going to see like the heritage and the culture. Which can be cool. But everything else in Canada is like kind of just, it's like butt fucky. It's like there's just some standard town that's like any other standard town with a Walmart, with a movie theater, and a bunch of people just live in general life. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, it's not like some inspiring place, right? It's not like being by the Adriatic Sea, if you will. You know what I mean? It's not quite the same. Although the Atlantic is pretty, pretty, uh, it's mesmerizing. Like, it is cool. But I don't know. So yeah, ultimately, this wasn't that good. Uh, I'm beat, like I'm full, <laughs> just, it's that time. Uh, holidays over vacations for sure. Costa, if you go on one, I hope you do. And I hope you enjoy it. I really appreciate the love and support from the bottom of my heart. Until the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. Go on holiday. <laughs> Stay true. Yes,
Sleeves up.